Hello, this is the beautiful who? Molly. Molly. This is Molly. Molly, how old are you? Four. Four. Today I want to show you how to make zoodles because it's one of my new favorites. It's been around for oh six months or so, so one of Tupperware's newest products, but it's so easy that a four-year-old can do it. So here we go. All right, we have a whole bunch of zucchini. So all I did is cut them in half. Some of them were super big, so I cut them into thirds. I probably could have cut them in half, but... So today, we're gonna go over the, micro, the mix and store picture. <laughs> All the measurements you could possibly want, including dry measurements. We've got sugar and rice and flour. Nice ergonomic handle, holes in it so water doesn't retain in the dishwasher, non-skid bottom. We have the spiralizer. It only goes in one way, like this, okay? Right or left-handed, we're right-handed, so we're gonna put it here. And then we're gonna suction this. We're gonna turn it right here, and it's now suctioned. So can't move it, won't go anywhere. We have this part. This is where you're gonna, I'm going to put my zucchini, and we have the handle. So we're going to put it right here. We're going to twist. That's literally it. Okay. We put it in, and we have three different slicers. This one is a slicer with one row of little pokies, so that means that it's going to be uh, fat zoodles. Then we have one row, two, or excuse me, one slicer with two rows of pokies. That means it's gonna be skinny zoodles. That's the one we're gonna use, so we're gonna put that over here. And then this one is just the slicer. So if you wanna make potato ribbons, or if you wanna do things like, you can cut half, full, half down like to the core and then have apple slices as it goes around, it's really cool for that too. All of the attachments, they do snap together. So for storage, you've only got one sharp edge, not three sharp edges to worry about, so that's nice. We are going to put it right here. It goes in, snap. That's it. That's literally it, okay? We take our zucchini, we put it in there, and we shove it all the way up, pierce it in there, and then we're gonna turn the little knob to spiralize, okay? My favorite part about this is that as you go, it like stops on its own. The mix and store pitcher, it's designed to fit right there. So non-skid bottom, not gonna slide all over, but it is hugging the bottom, so it's gonna stay right there. All right, Molly, you ready? Yeah. All right, go girl. This way. Keep going. Check this out. They're gorgeous. I love it. And then it's gonna be done here soon. And this little knob is gonna, oh, here it goes. Push it. And it, no, push this one. Keep pushing. Oh, you're not done. There we go. It pushed it out, so now it's loose again. Check out this waist. There's like nothing. Love this. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're going to zoodle like a maniac. Are you ready? All right. Go. As the mix and store gets full, I'm gonna put it in my smart multi-cooker because then I'm going to put them in the microwave. Why would I boil a pot on the stove if I can do it in the microwave and taste just as wonderful? So we're gonna go ahead and keep going with the zoodles. We're gonna do the whole thing and then we'll show you an after picture. After we put them in the microwave, they take about 14 minutes in the microwave. Just put water like you normally would. Easy peasy, I love this. We're gonna put it with a regular no sugar added sauce so you can have spaghetti and it's delicious. And if you know me, you know I don't eat vegetables. So it's a big deal, okay? All right, we'll see you soon.